Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doken Metal video. So I noticed in a couple comments that a lot of people do not know how to farm incredible gems or how to get them in general. So I thought I'd cover that in another tutorial video. So incredible gems are a special kind of treasure that you can receive from quest missions, special missions, Kinkai missions and wishing with the Dragon Balls. You can see your balance running here under the treasure screen and they can be used for a whole variety of items. Mainly they are used in a lot of the free to play EZAs and the free to play LRZAs for Prime Battle Goku and Prime Battle Freezer. So the important thing when farming treasure gems is firstly that you need to spend them wisely. Secondly that you need to farm them consistently. Uh, the only real way to get a massive amount of gems is basically to consistently do these things that I'm going to show you. Or well to at least do one of them consistently. And that thing that you need to do is to farm the quest missions. So when you have 4 times XP, when you have a whole bunch of bonuses, it is very awesome to spend your extra stamina farming a lot of these stages. Now the best stage I have in terms of farming treasure is 23.8 or area 23 stage 8. Now when you're farming these missions, regardless of what stage it is, the most important things to bear in mind is that you can use a boost. Using a boost will double any gems that you receive from the stage. So if you are farming the stages, dropping those boosts and getting some gems will be a lot easier. So I'm going to use a team that I've been link leveling and we're going to go into the stage. The most important thing is to identify where the launch and the pilaf are. You want to look around the map and you can see there that there's pilaf in the bottom left hand corner. You also want to take note of where all these little blue pads are. These little blue pads can drop anywhere between 1 to 2 treasure gems and pilaf will drop 10 treasure gems and launch will drop 15 of them. So if you hit one of these blue pads and you go and get pilaf you can get close to 30 stones for this run. And we'll take a look at that now. It's important to isolate where you need to go and to try and calculate your path there. Nothing too crazy or anything complex here. Literally just going, picking up Pilaf, fighting him, he's very weak, it's very straightforward. And then once you've beaten him, he will drop treasure gems, 10 to be precise. And like I said, if you find launch, you will get 15. You can find both of them on a single stage. So if you get lucky, you can get immediately 50 treasure gems right off the bat in a single run. A lot of these times it's just going to depend on how lucky you get but making sure that you scan the map first and try and isolate them and pick up as many blue pads can really increase the amount of treasure that you farm from the stage. We then also have a chance for treasure to drop from the Turles at the end so you'll see that we'll get one treasure gem from killing him as well. The bonus will apply to all of these, it applies automatically to the stones picked up from Pilaf but it also applies to the ones you pick up from the ground. So if you pick up a 1 treasure gem from the ground, you can sometimes get a 2 treasure gems from the bonus. It will randomize the amount that you would receive from a blue node. So that's pretty cool. As you can see we get our 1 from Turles, we finish the stage and we complete. A summary will then appear of what we got from the stage as it always does and you will see all the treasure gems that we received popping up here. It's pretty important to take note here, just look at how many treasure gems we got. We got 27 from just that single run. And that wasn't even a very lucky run. So you could run that maybe 10 times in a day. And so we're looking at something like 270, 300 gems a day, just from farming the stage. So during these events, these anniversary events, farming these stages, picking up these gems are going to be very important. There's also other stages that are very good, like this one right here. This has also been highlighted as a stage that a lot of people do. A lot of people also do 23.5 or area 23.5. And a lot of them also do the final stage of the quest missions, which is 27, area 27, 3, which also nets you the highest amount of experience. The second best way to get incredible gems is to get the Dragon Balls. Now I've done a video on how to get the Dragon Balls and you will have seen me wish for treasure in them. Wishing for the Dragon Balls doubles up on that fact. So not only can you complete the wishes for the Dragon Balls by following the guide on how to get them, which is pretty straightforward, 
but I'll do a very brief recap here. You basically just click an empty Dragon Ball. It will pop up with what mission you need to do at what difficulty and then you can go there. So while you're farming the Dragon Balls you can actually pick up gems but also just summoning the dragon will allow you to get a hundred gems three times so that's 300 more gems plus also they count towards King Kai missions. Now they're King Kai missions for summoning Shenron a certain amount of times which can drop 20, 30, 40 treasure gems as you go up the scale. So that will also come into play and that's where we go to our next section which is King Kai missions. Now King Kai actually has quite a few missions for treasure gems. He has quite a few missions in general but he has quite a few for treasure gems. Here's the one for Shenron. As you can see we get more gems depending on how many times we wish for Shenron. But there's also some for completing stages in the special conditions. Finishing them with earthling warriors. Finishing them with earthling warriors a certain amount of times. Finishing the stages, getting Krillin, awakening Krillin. Strength Krillin is the one that can be bought from the treasure gem shop. I highlighted them earlier in the video. He is necessary for Freezer's LRZI, and you can watch a video about that which I'll put in the description as well. But there's a whole variety of ways to earn extra treasure gems, from killing thousands of Cybermen, which you'll easily do if you're farming the story for gems and Patara medals, but also by just basically performing a whole bunch of Shenron wishes, clearing a lot of the story and all of this can add up. I mean adding all of this up, the Shenron, uh, the Krillin missions alone and everything, there's also like another thousand or two thousand treasure gems just to be found in the King Kai missions. So total that with the 300 that you can get per day, total that with the 300 that you can get just by summoning Shenron and if you just do your quests, summon your Dragon Balls and farm Shenron, you can have a lot of stones quite early on. Now what do we do with these stones? So just to highlight, I don't ever suggest that you spend these gems on copies of Vegito. You can get more than enough copies of Vegito from the Supreme Kai orbs. It will be a waste of your time and your farming if you go and spend these on Vegito. I also don't suggest spending them on Kai's at first because these are not necessary. What I do suggest putting them on is the Krillin, the Agility Cooler, and the other units that you need for the LRZAs. Those will be more important as Prime Battle LRZAs are some of the most powerful free-to-play cards that you can currently get in the entire game. So it's something that I do want to highlight to you guys because I think it's far more important, including also the fact that Krillin gives us back so many treasure gems from the system and the King Kai missions, that you do those ones first after which you can focus on Kai's or an extra copy of Vegito. Obviously the Potara medals are something you have to get, but that's okay. And here we'll just highlight a couple more missions that you can do. Take your pick, it really doesn't matter. Just choose the missions that you find most comfortable, that you enjoy running, or even just personal preference as to what you have the most luck in. The reason I choose 23.8 is because it does a little bit of profile XP, a little bit of link leveling, and some treasure farming all in one. So for me, a guy who likes to hit a couple things at one time, it's going to be really, really great to get all that done. But now, that being said, uh, pretty much everything you need to know about treasure gems. How to farm them, best ways to find them. Those three ways are pretty much the only ways, but they're also the main ways. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And let me know down in the comments below how you're finding it. But that's going to be it from me. As always... Cheers, stay safe, and bye.